Marco, thanks very much for joining us. Um, it would be good to get a sense, I suppose, on what we're seeing, particularly in Italy at the moment, um, for the logistics markets. At this moment, the uh, logistic market is uh, the second asset class in terms of uh, uh, capital markets uh, in our country. So uh, just after office, uh, and this year will be a record year for uh, logistics. Probably more than 2.2 million square meters will be traded, which means more than 10% of the existing stock, and probably uh, much higher if you consider grade A stock, which is the part, the ma major part of institutional investment in this market. Uh, Logitech is the, uh, uh, currently having two opposite waves. One wave is the macroeconomic wave that is uh, bringing to a recession, higher interest rate, it means higher financing cost, uh, yields that are shifti shifting uh, uh, up, uh, and construction costs that raised uh, a lot in the past six months. This is on one end. On the other end, we have, particularly for the Italian market, we have a tenant market which is extremely strong. The cap is increasing and increasing and is, uh, let's say, keeping lower than expected only because of the limited availability of new product. This also brings up rents a lot, much higher than the, the actual inflation. Uh, and we have uh, increase of rents of up to 20% where we have inflation of 11.8%. And we have a uh, so faster take up and lower incentives granted to the tenants. So basically, we have these two waves in the country, and on one end, give us, uh, uh, let's say, up for new opportunities uh, of global in development side. But also, I have to say, with opportunities for the core investors that in this moment are watching, because even if they are probably entering now not uh, with, uh, let's say, the negative peak in terms of uh, net initial yield, they can benefit for sure on existing uh, new assets on an increase of expected rental value that will be, be transformed then in reversion and so recuperate the, sh the difference between the existing yield and so say the negative highest peak that we can have in the market for the logistic. And being long-term investors, they can also benefit when the market will recover also to have a uh, asset uh, with very good entry yield and also have a great capital gain afterwards. All this keeping the cash flow stable and safe and protected by inflation. There's often talk about the blue banana in terms of logistics um, stretching down to, to northern Italy. Has the sort of friendshoring, nearshoring trend um, and potentially, uh, I suppose, more goods and, and traffic coming through the Mediterranean um, began to, uh, I, I suppose, create new logistics hubs in Italy. What's the situation there? Yeah, uh, uh, for sure, we have uh, some signs uh, that the uh, Mediterranean uh, Sea and the south of Italy can uh, became a uh, nub for, for logistics. First of all, the PNR program, European program that will be deployed in, uh, also in the south uh, of Italy and uh, with the uh, creation of some commercial port in the south and in, in the islands. And we don't have to forget that uh, in this part of the country, we have uh, uh, almost 30 million inhabitants, that means uh, equivalent to the entire Nordics. And the Mediterranean regions uh, are in the center of Europe uh, and the connection Europe with Asia and, and uh, uh, Africa. Uh, of course, this is a, a long-term program. Uh, some uh, small labs are already active, like Naples or Bari, where uh, uh, this will serve or serving the domestic population, that is high, dense, uh, and uh, big in terms of numbers. Uh, but this will improve and improve a lot uh, in uh, the next uh, uh, five or ten years. Of course, uh, for investors, is a long run. Great. Really interesting to catch up. And it's going to be interesting to see um, how the logistics sector develops there in Italy. Thanks very much for joining us, Marco.